Welcome back to the Lichen Project. Today we are going to sit our owls in our April TBR. So this is a yearly uh, readathon that's hosted by a book roast, G from a book roast, um, over on her channel. I'll link the announcement video down below. She's put a lot of effort into it. She puts out our your letter and a careers. Um, Thing. So the letter from Hogwarts also has the uh, your owls, which also have the reading prompts. So there is a reading prompt for each um, subject, and then the careers. If you want to, the careers guide also tells you which ones you need to read in order to go through and do your newts, which are held in August, I believe. So that if the owls that you sit in April, you also then can go and sit your newts in August. So I'll most likely be doing that. So I've selected a book for each of these topics. Um, yeah, so no, for each of the topic uh, subjects, I have a book. It does not necessarily mean I'm going to read them all. <laughs> I also do have uh, some library books that might be coming up as well so I will see how that works um, some of them I have managed to slot in others I haven't but we'll see so the Ancient Runes is Heart the Heart Rune which is Heart on the cover in the title and I pulled off my shelf is Heart's Blood by Juliet Murillo Murillier? Um, I don't know a lot about this, I just know that one of my, uh, I was given it for my birthday a year or two ago and it's signed, so I really should get to that and read it. Uh, I I'm a, think it's a fantasy, ah, it's inspired by the gothic fairy tale of Beauty and the Beast, that's why it was chosen for me. A Beauty and the Beast retelling or inspired. I have uh, Arithmacy, which is to uh, balance slash opposite. Read something outside your comfort zone. Uh, so I have two options for this um, because I don't read a lot of thrillers and I also don't read like non fiction, isn't something I gravitate towards. So I will be getting from the library the audiobooks for the secrets we kept which I'll put a picture up of here, or I will be doing Anonymous Girls, which is a thriller by Catherine, no, it's a dual authored one, but that's also on my, one of my reading challenges, so I may lean towards that one, depending on it. Um, and then we have Astronomy, sorry, which is uh, Night Classes, read majority of this book when it's dark outside, um, I picked up, will be picking up The Book Faith. It is a historical fiction uh, set in Nazi Germany of a young girl who learns to read. Yeah, 1939 uh, Nazi Germany is being held under the breath. Um, and it's told, I've been told it's been told from the perspective of God, uh, death, so it's very interesting. I have been meaning to get to this for a while and it is also on my top 10 tomes to tackle this year. So trying to slip those in when I can. And then we have Care of Magical Creatures, which is Hippogriffs, a creature with a beak on the cover. Not only does this have a beak on the cover, it also has a bird in the title, which is Raven Boys by Maggie Stiebutter, which is the first in the... Is it the ra yeah the Raven Cycle? Sorry, sometimes I hear it called the Raven Quartet. It's the Raven Cycle. I Maggie Sivada is one of my top authors. I love it. I love her writing. I've only ever done her Wolves and Mercy Falls, and everyone raves about this one as well. So I thought I'd jump in. Uh, this one is about a um a young girl called Blue who's psychic comes from a family of psychics and then she 
has been told that she's going, she's destined to kill the, uh, her first love with a kiss. And it also follows a, a group of four boys from a boarding school. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this and everyone raves about it. And then we have Charms, which is Lumos Maximum, which is a white cover. So I've got Star Crossed by Minnie Drake, which is, uh, it basically follows, it goes, why would you rely, why rely on fate when you can rewrite the stars? So it's a contemporary adult fiction which is centred around and uses a lot of, um, what's, what's, what's it escaping me? Astronomy, like um, astrological signs and such. So that's going to be quite interesting to get to. Uh, the next one is Defence Against the Dark Arts, which is The Grendelows, which is a book set at, the, at or on the coast. I've decided to go for one of my predicted five star reads, which is Wild Girls by Rory Power, which is basically a horror queer story of a boarding school that is on an island that gets put into quarantine um, with something called the Tox, which then starts to morph and change people, um, which is also ironic that we're going through COVID-19 and I'm designed to read a quarantine book, but I didn't think about that until just then. Should be good. Uh, then we go into Divination, which is Third Eye, which is a sign numbers to your TBR and use a random number generator to pick your read. I will be, I will do that during the month um, on one of my vlogs. So I will let you know on Twitter or on Instagram, which my links are down below, to what that will be, because there are lots of books to choose from. Um, and then I have. Membulus uh, Herbology, which is Membulus Malbultina. Membulus Malbultania. That one. <laughs> Wifey is sitting here helping me. Um, which is a book that starts with M. And I am going to do a middle grade book. Mistress of All Evil, which is Maleficent as well. So, what of the dark fairy Melissa's been? Why did she curse the princess to fall into this eternal sleep? Um, so basically this is a story of love and betrayal of magic and fantasy. It is a tale of the mistress of all evil. Uh, many tales have tried to explain her motives. Here is one account pulled from those passed down through the ages. So it's basically a alternate few telling of Maleficent. Um, so that's going to be good. It is, sorry, it's also by Serena Valentino. We're going to do that, and then we're going to History of Magic, which is Witch Hunts, book featuring witches or wizards. I'm going to dive back into the historical nature of J.K. Rowling and do The Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay. I read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, so with it being this, uh, the screenplay, sorry, this year as well, so they're nice, quick, easy reads. It is about history and they do hunt some witches and wizards in this. So we'll be going to that. Then we're going Muggle Studies, which is a book from the perspective of a muggle, so, so basically a contemporary. And I'm going to try and do Looking for Alaska by John Green. Um, I've not actually read any John Green. So this one is about Miles, who his whole life has been one big non-event until he meets Alaska Young, a gorgeous, clever and undodgedly screwed up. Alaska draws Miles into her reckless world of irrevocably steals her, his heart for Miles and I think could be the same. So I'm assuming she goes missing or something because there's a lot of just, John Green seems to do young contemporary, young adult contemporary of just a damaged girl. So I'm just interested to get into it. This is the author's cut 10th anniversary edition, which is why it might look so different. Um, so that's that. We then go on to potions, just shrinking solution. 
which is I will be getting to the second book in the Letters and Blood series, which is With Love from Liz Lovelock, which follows a, um, a young lady called Eleanor, who has been captured and taken away by a serial killer. It also follows her family and the investigation. So it's told from four different perspectives of Eleanor, her adoptive mum, the detective that's on the case and the captor. So it's a nice short little read so I'll whiz through that as well. And then the final one is Animagus Lecture which is Transfigurations, sorry, which is a book slash series that includes shape-shifting. And I am going back to Serena Valentino with The Beast Within. He shapeshifts from a beast to a man. Um, how did the one, one, so the back cover is along the lines of how did a prince once beloved by his people become a bitter and reclusive monster? A young handsome prince lives a life ex extravagant before he is forced to, to pay the ultimate price for his ugly deeds. The story is of vanity, aggrance, love, hatred, beastliness, and of course, beauty. So I think it's sort of, it's also an alternate telling on it. So I will be getting to that as well. They're all nice short little reads as well, middle grades. So that is all the books that this Hufflepuff is planning on reading for her owls. I will also declare my career once I've decided what I want to try and study and I will be vlogging through April. You may also see our little new edition, Dragon, turning up uh, because my wife is quite pregnant now. So let's hope that we get it. I'm also doing Camp Nano so I will have some writing stuff up as well. So please like and subscribe as it will help my channel and help my family. And I'd like to thank you and let's use our voices to create positive change for. Thank you and goodbye.